During the Ken Lyons event at this year's Ken Film Festival, superstars Ryan Reynolds and Issa Rae took a little time to talk about diversity in the industry and, more importantly how they can use their influence to make the changes that are happening at a surprisingly slow pace. Both stars and other event attendees revealed that diversity behind the scenes doesn't mirror what we've seen on screen lately, and, as much as this comes as a shock, it's not very surprising, especially if you are BIPOC. Over the last few years, with on and offline events such as Hashtag Oscars So White and the George Floyd protests, anyone with a streaming service subscription has seen that diversity in casting is something that producers and TV executives have made a point of, but only people who work on the movie and TV businesses can tell us viewers how that diversity plays out on the background. Collider Video of the Day During the event, the six-time Emmy nominee and insecure creator Issa Rae revealed that she still sees bias in the industry. The difference now is that if people speak up about it, their voices will likely be heard. For Rae, having elevated herself to the status of producer and a worldwide famous actor, she's in the fortunate position of saying no to projects and determining how the crew of her own projects will look like. In a separate panel, Reynolds also talked about how diversity behind the camera is a recipe for better stories. Being a Caucasian male, the actor has undoubtedly witnessed privilege firsthand, and during the press event he talked about how becoming a producer and company co-owner gave him the clout to do something about it, especially in the ad industry. This, of course, isn't limited to filmmaking crews. At the same Cannes Film Festival, which is supposed to be a platform for diversity in all forms, Deadline film critic Valerie Complex described in painful detail how the event itself isn't prepared to handle diversity outside the screen. In addition, Deadline also reported that Cannes PR has used a weird, to say the least, approach when came time to run an interview with film festival head Thierry Fermeau in which he talked about diversity, or lack thereof, and other sensitive topics like filmmaker Roman Polanski. All of these stories only underscore something that we BIPOC are reminded of on a daily basis, there is still a long, long way to go when it comes to representation across all areas, and whether we like it or not, it constantly falls upon us to speak up and remind everyone that the job is far from done. Like Complex said in her article, we'd like nothing more than to attend an event and worry exclusively about its subjects, but prejudice and bias constantly rob us from having a pleasant experience. We may have Ray, Reynolds, and others on our side doing what they can, but when an event that advocates for representation is far from putting their money where their mouth is, it's clear that the issue is far greater than we acknowledge.